Hello dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today I'm going to lead you through some yoga basics. So if you are a very young dancer who has never tried yoga before, this is the class for you. So we're going to walk through some very simple poses using lots and lots of imagery to help us get through the class with lots and lots of fun, I promise. So the first thing we're going to do is you're just going to crisscross your legs sit up nice and tall and right away feel your sit bones on the floor so those are those bony parts in your butt that sit on the floor and from that part there you want to sit up nice and tall so you have a long spine show me just how tall you can be as we sit here and then you can rest your hands on your knees and then just softly close your eyes and we're gonna breathe really really deeply so I want you to imagine that you're trying to fill up your belly with as much air as possible. So we're gonna take a breath in and I want you to expand your belly as much as you can. Really push it out, out, out. And then on an exhale, let your belly cave back in as you push all that air out. And then again, inhale, expand your belly as much as you can. And then exhale, let it go. We're gonna do two more breaths just like that. And let's actually bring your hands onto your belly so you can feel that breath. So inhale, push your hands out, really fill up your belly as much as you can. And exhale, let it go. Last time, inhale, fill up your belly. And exhale, let it go. So softly open your eyes. At any point throughout this class, I'll remind you to breathe while we're moving in and out of our poses. And you want to come back to that really deep belly breathing. So feeling like you're really expanding your belly outwards. That would be awesome. So we're going to start on your hands and knees. So come on to all fours here. Make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Knees are right underneath your hips. And you're going to take a nice big breath in like we just practiced but you're gonna drop your belly and arch your back. So you're gonna look up to the sky as you drop that belly. And then on an exhale, so breathing the air out, you're gonna bring your head in and curve your spine. And then inhale, come to an arch. This is cow position here. So you can pretend you're a cow munching on some grass. And then exhale, curve the spine like a cat. And inhale, back to cow position. And exhale to cat. One more time for both poses. Inhale, arch. And exhale to curve. Very good. Come back to your natural neutral spine, so nice and long through the back. You're going to take your right leg, and you're going to step it forward in between the palms. And then you're going to allow your hips to sink forward towards your mat. So we're coming into what's called a low lunge. Very important here, dancers. Make sure your knee is right over top of your ankle and your heel is on the ground. So you don't want this foot to be too close to you here. So I'm exaggerating a little bit that my heel is off the floor and my knee is too far forward. So if that's happening, you might need to lift your hips a little bit, step that foot a little bit farther forward so that you can lower the hips but keep this knee over top of your ankle. And we're just going to keep your fingertips on the floor and I want you to imagine that you're opening up really wide through the chest. Almost like you're a lion perched on top of a rock looking over the horizon. So we're lifting that chest, looking out, out, out. And then we're gonna take your left hand, place it flat on the mat, and you're gonna lift your right arm up to the side. So we're finding a little bit of a twist here. So you're twisting, twisting through your belly button and trying to find a long line from the tips of your fingers all the way down to that left hand on the floor. So really reaching, reaching, reaching. Remembering to breathe with that deep belly breath that we started at the beginning of our class with. And from here, we're going to float the right hand back down onto your mat. Tuck your back toes and try to lift your back knee off the mat. 
And now from here, this is a little bit tricky. You're gonna drop your back heel so it's at about a 45 degree angle. And now this might feel like enough of a stretch here, or if you want a little bit of a balancing challenge, you're going to push up through the body, keep your legs exactly where they are, keep your hips and shoulders square to the front of your mat, and then your arms are gonna come up overhead, palms together, and you can keep your eyes forward. So this is called warrior one. Feel nice and strong, just like a warrior about to go into battle. Nice and strong through the legs, strong through your core. And on an exhale, you're gonna bring your hands back down onto the mat. You can lift your back heel, and then you're gonna step your right foot back to meet your left in a plank position. Try to make a straight, straight, straight line from your shoulders all the way down to your heels. And then from here, we're gonna lower the knees onto the mat, coming back to that position in all fours. So we're gonna do that same thing on the other side, so taking your left leg, step it forward, finding your low lunge. Come up onto your fingertips, lift your chest forward. Remember that feeling of a lion looking over the meadow, over the horizon. So you're really lifting that chest. Feel nice and tall as your hips sink down. Remember that your knee needs to stay right over top of your ankle. And we'll plant the right palm into the mat. Lift your left arm up, finding your twist. Reaching through those fingertips, finding a long, long, long line. Make sure you're not sinking into your bottom shoulder, that you're pushing up and away. And we'll float that hand back down onto the mat. Tuck your back toes, straighten that back knee as best as you can, and then you're gonna rotate your heel so it's at about a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna lift your body up. If this is what you did on the first side, you can keep your hands on the floor if you wish. Palms come together up overhead, feeling nice and long and strong through the body. Breathing deep. Remember those deep belly breaths we practiced at the beginning of class. Feel that you're pushing into the outside of your right foot, your back foot. And of course, feeling strong like a warrior. We'll take one more very deep belly breath here. And we'll float the hands back down onto the mat and lift your back heel. Bring your left foot back to meet your right to come into this plank position. And holding for one more breath. Really push, push the floor away from you. And we're gonna walk the feet forward to the top of your mat. And your feet can be about hip width distance apart. Grab opposite elbows and we're just gonna fold like a rag doll. And you can sway side to side. So nice and easy here. Let your body dangle over your legs. And we're gonna take another nice bend and roll up through your back. So your head and shoulders will be the last thing to recover to stand. And now you can stay facing where you are, but I'm just gonna turn and face the camera so you can see me better. You're gonna bring your feet all the way together here. Let's bring your toes together. Heels can be about an inch or so apart at the back. And now from here, I want you to spill all of your weight into your left leg. So all of your weight into your left leg, so you can see I can lift my right foot very, very easily here. And so from here, you're gonna bend into that leg, and you're gonna take your foot, and you're gonna place it either above your knee on your inner thigh here, or below your knee on your calf. You don't want to place it directly on your knee because that puts a lot of stress on your joint. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up into the inner thigh here, and really push that foot into place there. And once you feel nice and sturdy, you're gonna bring your hands up overhead. So this is called tree pose. So you wanna imagine that your left foot here is a nice strong tree trunk. And underneath your foot are roots growing into the floor, into the earth, that are helping you stay supported. They're your foundation. And then your arms up overhead are the tree branches. So feel really 
long through these tree branches. Feel really strong in your tree trunk in that supporting leg. And we'll bring the hands back down. You're gonna use your hand to release that foot back down onto the mat. And we're gonna go ahead and do that tree pose on the other side, so spilling your weight into your right leg and going, lifting that left leg, placing it where you'd like to place it for your balance. Remember, not right on top of the knee, either above or below. And once you feel sturdy, go ahead and add your beautiful tree branches. Feel those roots growing from the bottom of your foot down into the floor. Feel that strong and sturdy tree trunk and feel nice and tall, tall, tall through the spine. A little bit of wobbling is okay. We're testing our balance. So if you fall out of it, just come back into it, no big deal. And we'll come back to center. I was almost losing my balance there as well. You wanna use your hand to let your foot fall back down onto the mat. Now come back to that position with your toes together, heels apart, and we'll bring your hands together in front of your heart. And now I want you to pretend like you're sitting in a chair. So first, show me how tall you can be. And then on an exhale, breathe out and you're gonna sit back into a chair and you're gonna hold here. So try to keep your spine nice and long. We're gonna hold here for three more breaths. Look down and make sure you can still see your toes. Maybe give your toes a wiggle so you know that they're still there. Two more breaths. You got this. Just sitting in a chair, no big deal, right? And on your next inhale, we're gonna push into the feet, push to stand, and let the arms fall. So if you weren't already facing the long side of your mat, I'll invite you to do that now. So face the long side of your mat, and you're gonna open up your feet. So we're in a nice wide second position here. Now from here, you're gonna take your right foot, and you're gonna turn it out. So right now, my right foot is turned out, toes pointing this way, forward, and then my back foot is parallel to the short edge of my mat. So from here, in this kind of triangle position, you're gonna take your hands on your hips, and you're gonna take a nice deep belly breath in, grow tall, and then on an exhale, you're gonna let your hips sink to the back, and then you're gonna let your body tilt forwards here. So you will almost wanna feel a stretch through the side of your body, and you wanna keep your shoulders upright. So you should still be able to see everything in front of you here. Maybe this is your computer or your TV where I am leading the class. You still wanna be able to see me. <laughs> so keep that long back. And on your next inhale, we'll push back up to stand. Turn that right foot in. And then we're gonna take your left foot now, lifting the toes, turning them out. So now their face, their toes are pointing to the opposite direction. Your right foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat. Hands on your hips. Inhale, show me how tall you can be in that deep belly breath. And then let all the air out as your hips go towards the back. And you tilt forward, keeping your shoulders open towards the long side of your mat, so your hips and shoulders are square. Keeping those hands on your hips. Remember that deep belly breathing. It's easy to hold your breath in this position, but make sure that we're breathing nice and nice and deep. And on your next inhale, we'll push to stand. Bring your feet parallel, so now we're facing forward once more. And now we're gonna step to the top of our mat once again. And we'll have the feet together here. Let your hands fall by your sides. We're gonna take an inhale, nice deep belly breath as your arms come up overhead, palms to touch. Exhale, you're gonna dive forward over your legs. You can bend your knees if you need here. And then on an inhale, you're gonna step your feet back, finding that plank position once again. Feel nice and strong, push the floor away from you. And then you can let your knees fall, and this time we're gonna come all the way down onto the mat, so all the way onto your bellies here. You're gonna take your hands, we're gonna make two fists, and you're gonna extend your arms up overhead. Try to keep your ankles together as much as you can here. 
We're gonna pretend that we're flying through the air like Superman. So on the count of three, we're gonna lift our arms and our legs up off the floor, trying to keep your ankles together, flying through the air just like Superman. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're gonna lift those arms and legs, flying through the air. Try to lift even higher so we can fly even higher. And we'll release back down to the floor. Take a breather here. And we're gonna try that one more time. So bringing your ankles all the way together. Try to point, point, point through those feet as we lift. Three, two, one, lift. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Keep those arms nice and strong, right beside your ears. Flying through the air. Try to keep those ankles together for a three, two, one more inch, get taller. One, and release. We'll bring your hands right under your shoulders. Push yourself up, lift your hips, and you're gonna come back into a little child's pose. So bring your knees together, feet together, arms can come behind you, and you're just gonna relax your forehead into the mat. Making a nice little ball. This is child's pose, nice and easy. And we'll use your hands to help you push yourself back up. Coming into a seated position. So, bringing those sit bones back down on the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together in front of you, making a butterfly shape. Grab a hold of those ankles, sitting up nice and tall. And then from here on an exhale, so letting the breath go, you're gonna let your head go first and then curve your spine forward over those legs. So in this position, try not to push your knees down. I know as dancers, we're always trying to fight for more flexibility. But in this position, just let your body relax. So we're not pushing, we're not creating any tension through the hips. No gripping here. We're just making this nice butterfly shape and letting the weight of your head pull you forward into the stretch. So it's nice and easy. We're starting to calm our body down after our yoga practice. And while we're here, let's bring back that deep belly breath. If you open your eyes, maybe you can see your belly expand and contract as you inhale and exhale. And we'll slowly roll ourselves back up to a nice seated position. Let's bring your knees together, stretch those legs out in front of you, give them a good shake on the floor. And we're gonna bend our right knee, lift it and place it over top of that left leg. So your foot is on the outside of your leg. And then on an inhale, sit up nice and tall. Show me how tall you can be. You're gonna take your left hand, wrap it around that knee like you're hugging it close to you. And then you're just gonna turn and look over your right shoulder. Maybe your right hand comes onto the mat behind you to help you twist. So twisting towards the back of your mat. Remembering that deep belly breath, you can feel your belly expand and contract against your leg that you're hugging in towards your chest. Try to still sit up nice and tall here. And we will unwind back to the front, switching legs, bending your left leg, cross it over the right. Sit up nice and tall. And then taking your right hand, wrap it around. Hug that knee in close to you as you twist towards the back over the left shoulder. You can place your hand behind you to help you stay tall and upright. So you're twisting from your belly button all the way up to the top of your head. Feeling that deep belly breathing. And on an exhale, we'll unwind back to the front. Stretch both of your legs out once more. Give them one last good shake. And you're gonna lower yourself all the way down onto your back. And let your legs flop open, let your arms flop open. We're coming into what is called Shavasana, 
which is our final resting pose in yoga class. So in this pose, you don't have to use any muscles. You can just totally relax into your mat, into the floor. You can let your eyes close or you can keep them open. But wherever you are, let's bring your attention back to that deep belly breath that we had at the beginning of class. And let's try to take five nice deep breaths here. So take an inhale, really fill up the belly, let it rise and expand. And then exhale, let it sink into the floor as you push all of that air out. Let's do that four more times. So nice big inhale, fill up the belly, lots and lots of air. And exhale, really let it go. Inhale, nice big belly breath. Feel that there's no tension anywhere else in your body. You're nice and relaxed. And exhale, let it go. Two more times, inhale. Fill up that belly with as much air as you can. And exhale, let the belly sink and let it go. Last time, nice big, deep belly breath. And exhale, let it all go. Take one more moment. Feel your body fully relaxed onto the mat underneath you. And we're gonna wiggle your fingers and toes. Wake your body back up. Roll onto the right side of your body. Just like you're rolling over in bed. And then you're gonna push yourself up and find another seated position. So maybe you wanna crisscross your legs just like we did at the beginning of class. Sitting up nice and tall. And how we end every yoga class is you bring your hands together in front of your heart. And as a thank you, we bend forward and say the words Namaste. Thank you so much dancers for doing this practice with me. I hope you learned something and had a little bit of fun while doing it. We did a lot of really great poses like chair and tree and even Superman flying through the air. So if you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I release new videos for dancers every single Friday. So I hope you had a lot of fun and I hope I will see you on the mat again very, very soon. Bye.